The European Union has agreed to allow governments to share airline passenger information, a move spurred by the terrorist attacks in Paris last month. Formal approval is expected soon. It's the latest counter-terrorism measure, and as CCTV's Dan Williams reports from Madrid, it's unlikely to be the last. In the aftermath of the Paris terror attacks, there are a number of questions that demanded answers, including how to stop them from happening again. One response appears to be a series of new anti-terror laws. After years of debate about balancing privacy and security, Europe's ministers have now agreed to share the names of airline passengers to help trace returning potential extremists. They want to know who is traveling and if they're a that includes specific information such as how they've paid for the ticket and what trips they've taken and if they have a criminal record. We're at war. All the measures and policies can be justified as legitimate defense. Spain tightened a number of security measures following the Madrid train attacks in 2004 that killed nearly 200 people. All passengers using the national train network are now subject to security checks. The implementation of stricter security controls were widely expected following the tragic events in Paris. But there are some here in Madrid who are also calling for a wider view approach to the terror issue. The Club de Madrid was set up to promote democracy following the train bombings. In October, the organization presented UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon with a 10-point list of recommendations to counter violent extremism. Security measures alone are not going to solve the problem. I mean, it's of course, from the point of view of our members, it's key that security is a, I mean, indispensable uh, response to terrorist attacks or violent extremism, but it's not the only way in which that should be tackled. And I think that the countries which have some more uh, let's say, ample vision and which have a variety of strategies, not only focusing on security, are the ones who are, I mean, having better results. But as the world looks for a consensus on how to deal with the terror threat, other far-reaching security procedures are expected. The way we control borders will be increased. Shenzhen can't continue to operate as it has these last few years. In terms of the control of passengers on trains, the control of luggage, all of that will become a reality. What we're going to see in Europe is a renationalization of things that had been let go. The situation is exceptional. The answers to terrorism and radicalization are complex, and the potential for another tragedy remains all too real. Dan Williams, CCTV. Madrid.